Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Today in the show I'm going to be talking about a movie that uh, really, you know, surprised me when it first came out and uh, I didn't get a chance to see it uh, again until very recently. And it's a movie that I really, uh, I get a kick out of. It's a fun uh, Disney movie. I picked this up a few weeks ago um, at a really crazy sale that Best Buy had. And that movie is uh, Zootopia. Now this is the 4K steel book from Best Buy. I got this uh, when it was $14.99 a few weeks ago. This is back up to like I think $35, $40 now. Um, but it's a two disc set and I'll open it up. It's got some really great uh, fun artwork inside here. And uh, it's got the 4K disc here and the standard Blu-ray that has all the special features and stuff on it. And uh, I wanted to review this today because I reviewed a couple other Disney movies uh, within the last couple weeks. And I want to review this one because this one was kind of the outlier for me. This is the one that, honestly, uh, even though it's a somewhat new release, I was actually kind of surprised by, um, you know, some of the lackluster qualities of this transfer. And the fact that this is, a you know, a very good movie, but a transfer and a sound mix that maybe isn't so great. So... The first thing I want to get out of the way that this is uh, a 4K transfer of a 2K digital intermediate. Now, sometimes I'm going to be honest with you that 2K digital intermediate thing, um, sometimes it matters, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it really doesn't matter. It really depends on the film. Now, you have to excuse me because uh, I'm getting over a little bit of a cold, so I apologize if I sound a little congested, but um, it's just something, you know, I'm, I'm getting over it. But this disc... Um, again, it's a it's a 4K transfer of a 2K digital intermediate, and really the one thing about this movie that I have to say is that it does look great. Um, it isn't as sharp with the details as some of the other Disney movies that I reviewed, and I was very very pleasantly surprised with Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Which are actually, you know, uh, Finding Nemo especially is older than this. Um, but, again, it's a different animation style. And, you know, there are still some things on this 4K transfer that um, surprised me. You know, again, level of detail is there. Is it razor sharp? I would say yes and no. I mean, it's really the art direction of the film uh, from what I could see. Um, that it isn't extremely detailed. I will say, though, animals that have hair, uh, especially the two main characters here, they really, really, really look great. Um, they look fabulous. I think, for the most part, it's a very good-looking disc. However, the transfer itself is not 100% like razor sharp. Uh, I wouldn't call it reference quality like I would Finding Nemo or Finding Dory. Those are movies I would pop on just to show the range that those movies have. This one never really quite, you know, gets there. Um, is it an entertaining movie? Yeah, absolutely. I think this movie actually probably has the best Godfather reference I've ever seen on film. There's been countless parodies made over the years. This is probably my favorite one. And it's hilarious. If you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, it's it's worth a look, trust me. Um, but, you know, as for picture quality, I think the number one thing this disc has going for it is the HDR10 on this disc is really well used. And the colors you get on this is really the reason to buy it. You know, the the amount of colors, the brightness of the disc is not extremely bright. But there are moments that look absolutely beautiful. And I have to say, for the most part, it is a very pretty looking film. It's very, very pleasing to the eye. But it's just not that razor sharp quality like you get with Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, or even some of the Toy Story movies, which I'll review uh, coming up. 
but I think this one here, again, in terms of picture quality, it's not bad. It's just not outstanding. And honestly, if you have the Blu-ray, it may not be worth the upgrade for the picture quality. Gonna be honest there. Now, the other thing this disc has, this new 4K disc has, is a, a Dolby Atmos track. And the Dolby Atmos track on this one was kind of underwhelming as well. Um, in terms of atmospheric effects, overheads and stuff, there are some usage of that, uh, but it's not a lot. It's, it's kind of limited, and it's not a massively enveloping kind of sound. Does it sound pretty good? Yeah, I mean, it sounds great. For an animated movie that's kind of a detective story that has some action in it, yeah, I, I think it's fine. Um, it, sounds, it sounds fine. However, this disc, unlike uh, Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, and uh, I'd say some of the more recent Disney releases, like Moana was another one that I thought was absolutely fabulous with audio and visuals. Uh, this, for some reason, has that dreaded Disney curse where you got to kick it up a few notches. And that the fact that you have to do that with this is kind of a shame, honestly. Um, it was quiet on the level that I usually play my movies on where they should be crystal clear, I had to pump it up uh, at least five to ten notches, which was really kind of sad because we started the movie and it was it was quiet. And I watched this with my girlfriend and even she said, can you turn up the volume a little? I said, yeah, it's, it's, it's a Disney. And uh, she didn't get that reference, but when I told her about the fact that a lot of these Disney movies have that, she was like, oh boy, okay. So we turned it up. And after that, it was fine. But again, in terms of an atmospheric sound, it, it's not really there. Um, does the audio mix disappoint? Not at all. Not at all. Um, but for an audio and home video enthusiast like myself, uh, it was kind of sad to see, you know, after three really good Disney movies where the audio was fantastic, to have this one kind of be that low audio again, I was, I was kind of disappointed in that. Um, the special features on the Blu-ray are also really nice. Uh, gives you a little behind-the-scenes look on how they made the movie. And uh, I think, you know, overall, it's a pretty good package. Um, this steel book is really neat. Uh, for $14.99, I, I think it was a, a worthy buy for myself, honestly. Um, it was, you know, it's a movie that I enjoyed, and it's a movie that I will revisit in the future. As for the $35 price tag, I would have to say no, honestly. Um, if you have it on Blu-ray, stick with the Blu-ray. I think it's probably going to be fine. But for this one, uh, I'd have to say if you really love this movie and you want to see it in 4K, pick it up. Or watch it on Disney+, Plus. whatever. Um, if you got Disney+, Plus, it's on there. Watch it on there. I'm sure it looks fine. Uh, but for this 4K disc, if it's over $20, I wouldn't pick it up, honestly. This is the one so far that I was kind of let down by. Great movie. As for this disc, it, it really was lackluster in a few qualities. But like I said, um, overall, it's a great movie. It's worth watching. But for a $30 price tag, I would have to say no, sadly. Um, everything else about it, though, was, was, you know, entertaining enough. So, but that's all I have for today for Kavanaugh's Corner. I wanted to say thank you for coming back to the channel. Really appreciate it. And, uh, again, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll leave a link in the description below. If any of you do want to pick this up, I'll leave a link below. If you do purchase the movie through that link, I get a little kickback. Again, you know, pick it up on a sale. All right? So, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.